In this video, you will see how to export contacts from Outlook and import them to iCloud for iPhone access or to your Google account. This is the Outlook desktop application. First, I will export the contacts. I will go to the contacts section. Here I see all my Outlook contacts. If you have multiple accounts added to the Outlook application, all the accounts will be listed here. You need to select the account for which you want to export the contacts. I only have one account on my Outlook. Now click on the file menu. Select open and export and select this import slash export option. Now on this import and export wizard, select the export to a file option and click the next button. You can export the Outlook contacts in a CSV file or in a Outlook data file or .pst file. The PST file works only with the Outlook application. If you are exporting the contacts to import them into Outlook, you should select the Outlook data file option. You should select the CSV option when you want to import the contacts into iCloud or Google. I'll export the contacts in CSV format. I'll click next. Here the contacts card is already selected. I'll click next. Now I'll browse for a location on the computer where I want to save the exported CSV. I'll save them in the downloads folder. I'll click the next button and I'll click the finish button. This is the CSV file where I have all the exported contacts. This file contains a lot of blank columns. So I will delete those columns and keep only the columns with the data for the contacts. I'll delete all the empty columns. These are the only columns with data I have for my contacts. You can have more columns than what I have, like a column for birthdays, column for work phone numbers or anything else. Let me quickly show you how to export the contacts using the Outlook web version. On the Outlook web, select the people option on the contacts option here. Now click on this manage contacts option, select export contacts. Here all contacts is already selected, click on the export button. It will download a CSV file. You can open the file into Microsoft Excel. The file is similar to what we got from the Outlook application. I'll close this file. This is the clean version of the contacts I exported from the Outlook application. First, I need to import these contacts to Google account. Then I can import the contacts to iCloud account. Because iCloud cannot import a CSV file. It only supports importing V cards. So first I need to import them to Google contacts, create a V card and then import them to iCloud. Before importing the contacts to Google, I need to change some of these column headers. So Google contacts detects the fields automatically. Here you see in Google contacts, the email field has a label. With this label, it understands the email type, home, work or other. And this label is important when you upload the exported contacts to iCloud. In iCloud, if the email address doesn't have a label, it will not map the email field correctly. So here I'll change this email address to work email. So Google contact understands this email is for work and applies the label accordingly. The mobile phone is correct. Everything is good. I'll save this contacts.csv. Now on Google contacts, I'll click on import. I'll select the CSV file. This is the CSV file and I'll click on the import button. The contacts are now imported. Let's open a contact and see how the fields are mapped. Here when I go to the edit option, I see the label is work because we have set the field name work email. Google contacts map that field with the work label. If you do not modify the row here, the header row for the email, Google will set it to other. And when I import all the contacts to iCloud, this email field will not be mapped correctly. So I'll set it to work and save. After importing the contact, you see it set a label imported on 1224 for all the contacts. You can delete the label if you don't want to see the label here. When you want to delete the label, it has an option keep all contacts and delete this label or you can delete all the contact and delete this label. So if you need to import your Outlook contacts in your iCloud account, First, you need to import the contacts here and after all the processes I'm going to show you in the video, you can select this option, delete all contacts and delete this label. For now, I'll keep it here. Now I'll select all the contacts here, select all and I'll click on these three dots, more actions. Here I'll select export. I'm exporting the contacts from my Google account because I'm going to upload all the contacts into my iCloud account. I'll select the third option here, vCard for Android or iOS. 
I'll click on export and it downloaded contacts.vcf, the vCard file. Now I can import this vCard into my iCloud account. Let's try that. Now I'm logged into my iCloud account. Here I'll go to the contacts. I only have one contact card here. Here I want to import all my Outlook contacts. I already have the contacts.vcf file which I have exported from my Google account. On iCloud contacts, I click on the plus icon here and I'll select import contact. I'll select the contacts.vcf file. I'll click on open. And I can see the 33 contacts, all the contacts I have here on my Outlook. Let me open the first contact here. I can see the contact name, the name of the company, title, phone number, and the email. And the email level is work. If I go to the edit option, the email is work. On Google contacts, if you set it as home, here you'll see the email under the home level. So now we have all the Outlook contacts into this iCloud account. Here on my iPhone, I can see in iCloud, I have 34 contacts. When I select this all iCloud option, I can see all the imported contacts. The same contacts I see on the computer. Let me find the contact Jordan Adams. So here is Jordan Adams and the same information. This is the same contact I see in my iCloud account. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.